Patrick Montgomery was in court. Jonathan Manapa will stay in federal custody. No, I don't take responsibility at all. Everyone, welcome to the show. 55-year-old Pennsylvania resident Barton Shively was one of the first people to cross down barricades on January 6th. He was seen walking up the Capitol steps. He assaulted officers. He first violently shoved an officer who was listed only as SL. Then he walked down the police line and he proceeded to strike and kick at other officers. He also attempted to strike others who luckily did not get hit, um, but he then pushed against the police line. And he was also seen on video physically wrestling with some of the officers. And then he was encouraging the mob to move forward. Eventually, he was sprayed with chemicals. He backed off. He was seen flushing his eyes out and he took off into the crowd. And after leaving the Capitol ground, Shively was interviewed by CNN, and he said, quote, what are we supposed to do, okay? Supreme Court's not helping us. No one's helping us. Only us can help us. Only we can do it. We broke down the barriers and we rushed them. We charged them. We got all the way to the steps. They made a line, so we stood there and we tried to push them back a little bit until they finally started to getting rough with us. So we kind of pushed them back. So that's what we did. We pushed them back. We tried to get up the steps. They wouldn't let us up, so they started pepper spraying. So on January 14th of 2021, Shively contacted the local police. He actually reported himself. He said he took part in the Capitol attack. He admitted to deleting all of his photos and videos from that day. And that night that he contacted them, he was interviewed by the FBI. So Shively told the FBI agent that when he confronted the officers, they pushed him back and it made him angry. But then he admitted, quote, I mean, it was a riot. I mean, it was a mob of people just yelling and screaming. I was talking to the cops and, you know, I'm sure they were scared. I understand that. And they're, they don't know what to do because it's overwhelming. So he knew what they were up against and he just added to it. So Shively was arrested on January 19th of 2021. And in a superseding indictment, he was charged with civil disorder, three counts of assaulting officers, entering restricted grounds, two counts of disorderly conduct, two counts of impeding passage, and two counts of physical violence. On May 4th of 2022, probation officers stopped by his house. They made an unannounced visit to Shively's home and they found a shotgun, ammunition, knives, and a sword. Um, so this was a direct violation of his pretrial release. So his bail was revoked. He was sent back to jail to await sentencing. And in September of 2022, Shively pleaded guilty to two counts of assaulting officers. So he was looking at up to eight years in prison, three years of probation, and 250,000 in fines. However, the, pr the prosecutor requested only 37 months in prison, three years of probation, 2,000 in restitution, and a $20,000 fine. And Shively has a criminal history. Although, I, you know, I will admit the charges are pretty old. They span from the mid 80s to the late 90s. Um, and he's been convicted over that period of time of several drug related crimes, harassment, unlawful possession of a firearm, things like that. Initially, this case was assigned to Judge Colleen Kolar Cotelli. She is a very tough January 6th judge. But Shively requested that she be removed from his case because they said, oh, she's biased. So I looked at the court filing. Shively's attorney pointed to her intervening to try to obtain documents about his pretrial violations. Uh, seems like a bunch of BS to me, but the judge didn't bother to fight it. She just said, OK, she recused from the case. That was in April of this year. Unfortunately, the case was reassigned to one of the worst judges, U.S. District Judge Gia Cobb. She has been completely weak. And no, before you even ask, she is not a Trump appointee. She is a Biden appointee. But she just refuses to hand down legitimate sentences that fit the crime. This was no exception. 
Judge Cobb sentenced Shively to only 18 months in prison, three years of probation, and 2,000 in restitution. Um, for how violent he was, this is a complete joke. I mean, you guys will remember, I think it was just yesterday, I, I shared with you a sentencing for a man who committed no violent acts. He was in the Capitol, he was inside the Senate chamber, and they gave him 18 months. So for this guy to get also 18 months for two violent, you know, for, for committing a violent act, uh, for literally pleading to two violent felonies, and this is all she gives him. I, I've rarely seen a violent January 6th defendant receive less than three years. And that's even when they're convicted of only one assault charge. So he pleaded to two. So this judge, Cobb, needs to just find a different job. She needs to go like bake cookies or something. That is more her speed. She just wants to bring people joy, apparently. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I, I don't even know what to say anymore. It's a joke. Um, I will let you know if I hear any more, though. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please like this video, share it with everyone you know, become a subscriber. Uh, become a supporter of the show if you can. Links are down below in the description box on YouTube and on the podcast. Love you guys. Take care. I'll talk with you soon.